Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LGGM007 and today we're looking at the TNT run plugin. As you can see now, I'm attempting to play it with my other account. Obviously, I can't really play two accounts at once, so obviously I'm going to win and my other account is just going to fall out the map and lose. And you can see there's some nice fireworks, there's cool effects, and overall it's a really fantastic plugin. So I'm going to show you how to set up an arena and let's just jump into it. So this plugin does require world edit, so make sure you've got your wand to hand and then we can create an arena. So if we do 4 slash tr commands, that's going to show a list of all the different commands we have in the game. And the first thing we want to do is actually create an arena. So if we do 4 slash tr setup, create, followed by the arena name, let's just call it server miner, that is going to create an arena. Now the first thing we need to do is set the arena bounds, so left click the top left hand corner with your world edit axe. And then go down to the bottom and right click the bottom right hand corner with the axe and then do 4 slash tr setup set arena for server miner and that's going to set the bounds so everything has to be within this area so let's fly back up to the top and i'm going to set this weird platform as my lobby so if we do tr setup set lobby for server miner that's going to set that location we can jump into the top part of the arena set the spawns by doing 4 slash tr setup set spawn for server miner as you might guess and then we can actually add more spawns than that so if you do tr setup add spawn server miner it will add a second and then we can re repeat the command for a third fourth etc so now that we've done that what we can do is actually set a spectator location if people get out early they can watch from up here so do tr setup set spectate and this is where they're going to be watching from now one of the most important areas we need to set is the lose level so near the bottom just set a single level and this is where people lose the game when they fall through it so go ahead and do 4 slash tr setup set lose level for server miner and this obviously has to be within the arena bounds as well so now that we've done all that there's a couple of other things we can do such as min and max players so if we do 4 slash tr setup set min players for server miner to 2 and then we can repeat the same command again so we can change this to max players and set that to four now that we've done that we are pretty much finished with the arena so all we need to do is for slash tr setup finish and then server miner and that's going to save and enable the arena obviously you could disable it if you wanted to uh, but it's currently enabled so now we can go ahead and do for slash tr join and server miner and it's going to join there's going to be a cool scoreboard on the right and if we look at the items we've got we've got a voting item which is vote to start we've got an info item which will show the plugin version and the website link and who made it so it's steve 4744 there's also a shop where you can buy items with coins so you can only buy one item per round so i bought a chest plate and you can see there are potions and snowballs and other good stuff that you might want to use uh, which is pretty awesome then we have our stats so i played three games and got three wins so i'm doing pretty well and then there is a leave item as well and obviously on the right we've got a scoreboard that says the arena players so two of four votes needed and then starting with a countdown and then as you can see up at the top we've got the boss bar which also gives the countdown which is very very cool and then obviously we are just going to start the game i other accounts not going to move and just continuously fall down so I can just run about until I win the game any second now he falls past the lose level and he has lost and I've won so that is the plugin it is really fantastic really easy to set up and overall just a really fun mini game one of my favorites actually so here we are on the spigot page and as you can see it's updated from 1.13 to 1.16 in fact it was updated yesterday and we've got a load of information on the Spigot page, which is great. We've got the dependency. So most of these are optional, actually, um, especially if you're running 1.13 or higher. Even World Edit is optional, um, unless you are below 1.12.2. So if we scroll down a little bit more, we've got all of the commands. Now, if you aren't running World Edit, you'll have to use TR Setup P1 and P2 to set the different points instead of just using the wand. Um, but apart from that, it would be the same. And then we've got loads of different commands there as well. So overall, really fantastic plugin. Highly recommend for your server. And if you want to download it, head over here. Now, if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.